Cardi B's pregnant. How that's gonna play out? I mean, she probably uh, she's pregnant in the midst of a divorce process. She she outside. That's why she's doing it though. Come on, y'all under y'all y'all act like break breakups ain't hard, man. She getting his money. No, yeah, yeah breakups is hard, but I'm, she might be what seven eight months pregnant by the time the music fest come. You gonna be out there? Yeah, yeah. she's a hey. listen, man. These breakups is hard. These women. And it's probably so many emotions going through. It's probably not even about the money for her, right? She's probably like just getting back outside, getting back into the groove of things. Like, bro, you gotta understand, being pregnant, pregnant is one set of emotions, and then you going through a divorce. That's another set of emotions, and then you a celebrity at that. So you got everybody in your business. So there's no telling what she's going through. She probably need this for her mindset. You know, everybody always be like, man, when things go wrong, go sit down by yourself. And not, bro, that's sometimes being by yourself be the hardest thing to do. So. She probably need to get outside, see some of her fans, see some of her people. I respect that. What you going to do? I'm not sure. What you got to say I'm about not, it? I ain't got nothing to say. What you got? Now you scared of Cardi B? You scared of the Cardi B yeah. train? Yeah, stop it. Stop it, five. I love Cardi B. I definitely feel like if she's in the middle of a pregnancy, chill out, my nigga. Like, unless you just in a situation where you need money that bad. I don't think like, it's about the money, though. Why, why add stress onto an already stressful situation? But who, why you think that's stress though? Being pregnant, I've heard that pregnancies are stressful. I mean, yeah, so like, but what, if you're performing, I think that's probably relieving some stress. No. All right, explain. I, I'm because I think about it, if you're doing it's so many levels of this, right? So one, when mm -hmm. you're pregnant, you want you need to work out because then your baby will come faster. It drops it. I don't know. Don't give me the uh, a line, but it, it makes the baby drop right. So a lot of workout, they, the doctor actually tell you walk work out as much as you can because it'll help with um labor that's one two if you really love doing music right like if you love performing and you love being in this space i can see that being a, a place for you to release some some stress and some pressure right so that's why i think is a great great idea now shit, she fuck around going to labor on there but i mean she ain't about to be nine months pregnant up there you said you think she's gonna be seven months pregnant when is when is the one music fest uh october october how many how, how many months pregnant is she now? I don't I don't know. I, well, I she got know. that big she got that big bulge in her belly, so I mean she got to be what six at least six, right? Is that when you start showing like that? Shit, yeah, you never know. People like Jay between the three of us, you're the only one with a kid, so you you can only no. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying a, you never you know. know because women uh, -oh. uh they grow at different place, paces. Like every woman is not the same. Got you, got you. Now, do you feel like there's a way back for them? Uh, and, and I'm saying Offset and Cardi. Do you feel like they can mend fences 100%. and keep the marriage, or do you feel like all right, this is definitively it? At this uh, point? It's a way back, 100. percent I think what makes it hard is is because everything is in a public, right? I think <clears throat> public scrutiny makes makes. It makes you hard to do anything because now you're thinking about everybody else judging you, right? But if we take away the public, the love that they have for each other is clearly real, right? And if you're not worried about nobody judging you, then you can do whatever the hell you want. Now, I say it's a, it's a possibility because sometimes it's a point where you unlock that I don't give a fuck in your mind as an adult, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure we all go through do, caring what, what people think about us. That's normal. I think we're human. But it's a it's, it's, it's a it's a moment in time in your life where you lock that. I don't give a fuck. Now, now I'm not saying I'm not disregarding all of the hardship that they had to go through in that marriage, in that relationship. I'm just saying the possibility of getting better. I mean, getting back together. Once you unlock that, I don't give a fuck mentality. Then, yeah, I think anything is possible unless it was something so, so hard where it was like, we just don't work out like, um, yeah like we just don't work out in some situations it's like yo i have mad love for you right like i got mad love for you know my situation and shit like that but it's like some things just don't work out and it's like it's better to, to go separate ways and to avoid any unnecessary drama that can come along the way again right that can mess you up make put you in worse situations make it hard for the family make it hard for the children we got children so at the, at the end of the day it's, it's bigger than us so unless it's something like that I definitely could see um, them getting back. I mean, like, it, it wouldn't be surprising. Honestly, I know it, it, we talk about this shit all the time, but it ain't nobody's business. But ain't it, ain't, didn't they already file for divorce before? Yeah, they did it mad time. Yeah, and then they stopped. Like, they've been together. Yo, when she said that they was together for seven years, married, mm -hmm. I was like, 
God damn, time flies like a mother jumper, boy. Mm-hmm. They've been married for a minute. I'm like, damn, y- y'all should at least wait to the 10 year anniversary and get divorced. I mean, damn, like sometimes yeah, just, it'd, be I, time, I, it'd be time, bro. Yeah, I just think since you you like teasing with it a whole bunch of times, I like, just go ahead and just make it official at this point. Like, see, that's the thing, though. That's the thing. Like, we shouldn't even know. I mean, granted, we I'm, should know exactly. Right. So, like, we, we should shouldn't even know. know. So it's like on one side, it's like, bro, we go people go through. I, Nick, you know, like relationships is real, bro. So like, yeah. it's easy to say what somebody should or shouldn't do. But when you living in it, bro, like, come on now, like let's 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 put ourselves in their, in their shoes for a second. Like, man, in a relationship, you be done a hundred times a week, damn near, right? And especially if something happened, it's easy to to put your finger on a button, right? To push that button, like, man, I'm done, right? Especially with yeah. social media so close, your phone is right here, so it's like, uh, I'm done. And I, I mean, I get it, but a lot of times you, you think off of impulses and that's not the, the, the decision you really want to make. So when you're dealing with somebody you love, you got time. I mean, like, I, I, all I'm saying is I understand her saying them saying they're going to do divorce multiple times and not doing it. I was in that predicament. I was in a situation where I thought, I, and when you think you're done, nobody can tell you you're not. I'm done. What do you mean? I'm done. I'm done until you're not done. Right? All and right. then what happens is you, um, you, you, you exhaust all resources, everything in your power to make it work. Right. And, and and if it's any doubt in your mind or anything in your mind to say, I did not exhaust every single thing, then you're going to continue to try until you get to the point where as though I did everything. And I don't want to be in the same place a year from now that I am in today. Right. So that's why I say, I mean, it's a possibility. But at the end of the day, man, like this shit is real. I mean, and, it, and, and it's a shame that we got to talk about people, relationships and shit on the Internet. But. It, it just is what it is, man. 